Okay, today we're going to take a look at the Alter FWD Experience. So it is a four millimeter drop shoe, something completely new from Ultra. Uh, Ultra co-founder uh, Brian Beckstead explained uh, why they've been actually working on this for quite a long time. It weighs 7.7 .7 ounces, 218 grams, US 9, so very light for its 32 millimeter heel, 28 millimeter forefoot, so a four millimeter drop. It's $140. It'll be available on October 3rd, uh, 2023. I've taken them out for runs on, um, on the road and even some trail with Brian and, and today. I want to give you my impressions from the run of this up-tempo uh, shoe that's sort of in the, the mold of a Mach X from Hoka or a Mach or a Kenvara. Okay, let's get into it. A few details. Let's talk about the four millimeter drop and the midsole first and this very pronounced rocker. Um, so we have a new compression molded EVA midsole uh, foam here from Ultra. Uh, it reminds me of a little bit more energetic uh, Saucony Power Run foam or a um, maybe even uh, Nike's React, but softer and a bit more energetic. It is not a super critical foam. It is not particularly kind of bouncy or squishy. Uh, I found it tends to um, get more dynamic the faster you go. Now, four millimeter drop, something completely new from Ultra. And I think uh, long overdue, a little bit of the training heel. Of course, they're going to continue with uh, zero drop shoes. But here, with this pronounced rocker, four millimeter drop, a relatively firm form, uh, foam, the naming here, FWD or forward, is really true because you definitely feel a sense of being uh, propelled forward to Ultra's characteristic wide forefoot with the outsole matching, if you will, the foot bones. We also have inner flex, which are grooves cut into the bottom of the uh, midsole. So we get a relatively uh, flexible rigid ro proc uh, rocker profile here. Um, so this is not a plated shoe, but once you get up on the front with this impulse forward impulse, you definitely have some kick. Um, I would call it, and we're going to get into it uh, from the run. I have a lot of nice video from the run here in Park City, the beautiful mountains, the leaves changing, even some trail running, which I did with Brian. Um, but this is an up-tempo kind of shoe, a shoe for your faster uh, tempo workouts. Uh, I would say even uh, the track. It can, of course, be a, a daily trainer because we have a 32-millimeter heel, 28-millimeter forefoot, and we have a really, really nice light weight for all that stack. Really almost in the super shoe class of 77, uh, 7 7.7 ounces, uh, 218 grams. Of course, it's ultra, so we have the foot-shaped toe uh, area, which plays really nicely with the, with the front platform. So what we have is a nice wide uh, toe box. I would not call it the widest of ultras, but for me anyway, it, it has a wider fit than, say, the Rivera does. Uh, the tongue could use a bit of work. Uh, it rotates quite a bit. Um, it's a, it's a well-padded tongue, but it's a little bit kind of, uh, if you will, uh, not broad enough, and there is no gusset. But that doesn't mean your foot isn't well held. Um, the lacing is really solid. Uh, I've never had to readjust the shoe on the run. Uh, I think the Achilles area uh, could use maybe a bit more swept back, a bit less rigid. You can see it's fairly rigid um, uh, and maybe a bit more padding, but that's my only uh, criticism there. We have not really a firm heel counter. It's just that this area is a bit high and a bit rigid. Um, so I've taken them out. Let's uh, give you my impressions from the run. But it is a really, really fine new uh, initiative from Ultra. There'll be more coming. It was actually really nice on trail, um, as as other Ultra road shoes have been. 
and I really hope, I really hope that they uh, put a trail type outsole on it, even though this did very well. You can see very, very little wear. I have about 25 or 30 miles at this point. Very little wear. I like this, this uh, rear uh, decoupling of the heel, the swept up, um, swept up rubber. All of this contributes to the great ride. So let's take them out. Okay, we're on the Park City Rail Trail here goes actually 26 miles to what's called Echo Junction and our ultra forward experience got a lot of response by response I mean it's not a bouncy bouncy soft shoe but it's quick reacting it's compression molded EVA so similar to what you'd see in a Hoka uh, what I really like is the rebound off the front um, because you've got that wide platform, you got your alt characteristic ultra foot shape plus inner flex plus those um, inner grooves uh, in the midsole and the outsole that correspond to your toes. So it's a great shoe, I think, for up tempo, for workouts, and I'm really enjoying the new four millimeter drop because there's no sensation of a low heel here at all, even as a four millimeter drop. Okay, let's talk about a bit about the fit of our ultra forward experience. So true to size fit, no question about it. Today I'm wearing some bit heavier Jogology socks. At first they felt a bit short, uh, but now with a bit of stretch break in of the insole and the upper, they feel just fine. You'll notice on my right shoe, I am getting some tongue migration, a bit less on my left. I tend to kind of toe out. I've got a bad leg on that side, um, but that could be improved. Lace up is really good. This is just wraps the foot beautifully. There's no gusset tongue. We've got that big, broad foot shaped toe box, that, but it's well held to the platform. There's no sloppiness. Heel hold is excellent. I think the Achilles um, collar is a bit high and rigid. I think it could be softened, maybe swept back a teeny bit. Um, minor irritations during one run. Now a bit more about uh, the ride. This is an up-tempo flavor shoe, that's for sure. There's a lot of kind of quick pop off the road. It's not squishy. It's not a super critical foam. Uh, I think it's an excellent choice for your up your tempo workouts, medium length tempo workouts, track work, um, especially if you have a broader foot. That long rocker is uh, very kind of propulsive. Uh, it's semi-rigid here, not plate propulsive, but uh, it makes for a, fir a, a steady, firm platform to tow off of uh, with a lot of energy. So I'm gonna keep going down the rail trail. So there's a clear forward impulse this shoe is well named you really feel that even though it's four millimeter you're being sort of propelled off the heel to the midfoot and then down to that wide semi-rigid forefoot so we're taking on a bit of trail smooth single track okay i've always found the ultras on this kind of utah single track where they originally came from to be really quite excellent grip is good they're stable, there's plenty of rock protection, and there's really a lot of nice welcome impulse off the front of the shoe. So I'm hoping Ultra will uh, stick a bit more rubber on these. I think they'd make a really good uh, shorter distance trail shoe. I think with the uh, four millimeter drop, you really get forward onto the, the toe off really fine on this the experience will be available october 3rd 140 dollars it's a great new initiative from ultra with four millimeters of drop and an up-tempo faster kind of ride a bit old school in flavor but uh in a non-plated shoe for your faster workouts tempos daily training and even some racing it's a great new option Thank you very much for watching. Please also check out our uh, written review. Have a great run.